Hi, Storytime friends, it's Miss Ollie, and today we are going to do story time about butterflies. How does that sound? I wanted to do butterflies because this week's craft kit is this amazing, beautiful butterfly. The background is white, so you can make it whatever colors you want. Miss Cindy made hers all rainbowed. And this is all cut out on top for you. Glue it together, put the gems on, and you can see the colors through. It's really fun. So make sure to let us know if you want to pick up a craft kit. It's available for the rest of this week. Next week, we'll have a different one. Okay? All right, let's do our story time. Ready? The more we get together, 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 the more we get together, the happier we'll be. For your friends are my friends, and my friends are your friends. The more we get together, the happier we'll be. Good job, friends. All right, let's sing If You're Happy and You Know It. Ready? If you're happy and you know it, clap your hands. If you're happy and you know it, clap your hands. If you're happy and you know it, then your face will surely show it. If you're happy and you know it, clap your hands. If you're happy and you know it, stomp your feet. Stomp, stomp. If you're happy and you know it, stomp your feet. Stomp, stomp. If you're happy and you know it, then your face will surely show it. If you're happy and you know it, stomp your feet. Stomp, stomp. If you're happy and you know it, shout hooray, hooray! If you're happy and you know it, shout hooray, hooray! If you're happy and you know it, then your face will surely show it. Oh, if you're happy and you know it, shout hooray, hooray! If you're happy and you know it, do all three, clap, clap, stomp, stomp. Hooray! If you're happy and you know it, do all three. Clap, clap, stomp, stomp. Hooray! If you're happy and you know it, then your face will surely show it. If you're happy and you know it, do all three. Clap, clap, stomp, stomp. Hooray! Good job. Oh, friends, let's sing our ABCs. Are you ready? A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, I, J, K, L, M, N, O, P, Q, R, S, T, U, V, W, X, Y, and Z. Now I know my ABCs. Next time, won't you sing with me? Good job, friends. Now I changed the end of the song this time because I just, I keep thinking about it and it says, mommy and daddy are proud of me, but some people maybe don't live in a house with their mommy and daddy, or maybe they just have a mommy or just have a daddy or two mommies or two daddies. So I don't want to sing mommy and daddy because that's not fair to everybody, right? So. We'll go back to um, next time, won't you sing with me? So I'm sorry if I hurt anybody's feelings by singing mommy and daddy. I realize that wasn't very fair. So we'll do better, right? That's what you have to do sometimes when you make a mistake. You say you're sorry and then you try, try to be better next time, right? So that's what I'm doing. Okay, friends, let's get our wiggles out. Ready? I wiggle my fingers. I wiggle my toes. Wiggle those toes. I wiggle my shoulders. I wiggle my nose. Now the wiggles are out of me and I'm just as still as I can be. <sighs> let's do some deep breathing, friends. Who needs some calming deep breaths this week? I do, I do. Okay, let's do five of our calming breaths. I'll count them as we go. 
breathe in through my nose and out through my mouth. But you can do whatever you want, okay? Eyes open, eyes closed. Whatever makes you most comfortable. You could even lay down on the floor, just flat on your back. That might feel good too, right? Very relaxing. So here we go, friends. This is breath number one. In. Hold it and let it out. Good. Breath number two. In. Hold it and let it out. Good. Breath number three. In. Hold it and let it out. Good. Breath number four. In. Hold it and let it out. Good. Number five, last one. In. and let it go. There we go. Very good. All right, before we start our stories about butterflies, I want to sing a short little song, and it's about how a butterfly becomes a butterfly, because hopefully we know caterpillars turn into butterflies okay so we're gonna sing this little song it's called the fuzzy caterpillar ready the fuzzy caterpillar curled upon a leaf spun her little chrysalis and then she fell asleep while she was sleeping, she dreamed that she could fly. And later when she woke up, she was a butterfly. Now I'm simplifying this a lot, but as you'll see, we will read The Very Hungry Caterpillar, which maybe you've read before. Caterpillars start out small, they eat a whole bunch, and then they make a home around themselves called a chrysalis. It's like a cocoon. And while they're living inside the cocoon, they're sleeping and they're changing. It's so amazing. From a caterpillar into a butterfly. It's called metamorphosis. It's magical. Okay, we'll do it one more time, ready? <clears throat> The fuzzy caterpillar curled up on a leaf, spun her little chrysalis, and then she fell asleep. While she was sleeping, she dreamed that she could fly. And later when she woke up, she was a butterfly. Isn't that cool? It's like a miracle. So, here we go. Let's read The Very Hungry Caterpillar by Eric Carle, which is one of the greatest picture books, I would say, of all time, truly, by a master, Mr. Eric Carle. In the light of the moon, a little egg lay on a leaf. These pages are so glossy, you can see the light on them. One Sunday morning, the warm sun came up and pop, out of the egg came a tiny and very hungry caterpillar. He started to look for some food. On Monday, he ate through one apple but he was still hungry. On Tuesday, he ate through two pears, but he was still hungry. On Wednesday, he ate through one, two, three, three 
plums. He was still hungry. On Thursday, he ate through one, two, three, four strawberries. But he was still hungry. On Friday, he ate through one, two, three, four, five oranges. But he was still hungry. On Saturday, he ate through one piece of chocolate cake, one ice cream cone, one pickle, one slice of Swiss cheese, one slice of salami, one lollipop, one piece of cherry pie, one sausage, one cupcake, and one slice of watermelon. That night, he had a stomach ache. A lot of different foods. The next day was Sunday again. The caterpillar ate through one nice green leaf. And after that, he felt much better. Now he wasn't hungry anymore. And he wasn't a little caterpillar anymore. He was a big fat caterpillar. <laughs> he built a small house called a cocoon around himself. He stayed inside for more than two weeks. Then he nibbled a hole in the cocoon, pushed his way out, and he was a beautiful butterfly. Now, Jack, I'm telling you. Thank you, Mr. Eric Carl book is a treasure. Oh, all right, friends, let's read another pretty book. This one's called A White Butterfly, and this is by Lori Cohen and Barbara Ortelli. These pages are glossy too, I'm sorry. Wee! <laughs> Sometimes Butterflies are blue like the sea. Pink like candy. Yellow like the sun. Red as a strawberry. Green as the forest. Brown as the earth. Violet as the lilac. Orange as, well, an orange. <laughs> Nothing rhymes with orange. <laughs> Gray as a stone. Black as the night. But this butterfly is white, all white, like a snowflake. Can't even really see the outline. I have to try to do it without too much of the glare, huh? It's plain, isn't it? But look what happens when a drop of water lands on its wings and rolls around. See that little drop of water? reflecting all the colors of the rainbow. So pretty. I like that one a lot. All right. Okay, my friends. Let's sing peanut butter and jelly. Ready? Peanut, peanut butter and jelly. Peanut, peanut butter, and jelly. First, you take the peanuts and you smash them. You smash them. Smash them, smash them, smash them. Peanut, peanut butter, and jelly. Peanut, peanut butter, and jelly. Then you take the grapes and you squish them. You squish them. Squish them, squish them, squish them. Peanut, peanut butter, 
peanut, peanut butter. Good job. Then you take the bread and you spread it, spread it, spread it, spread it, spread it. Peanut, peanut butter. Good job. Peanut, peanut butter. Good job. Then you take the sandwich and you eat it. You eat it. You eat it. Eat it. Eat it. Oh, you know, friends, while I was doing that, I realized I was linking my hands together while I was doing this and then that. And really, it ended up when I hooked my thumb like a butterfly. So you could try that too. Take your hands, link the thumbs, make your butterfly fly wherever you want it to go. What a fun coincidence. <laughs> like I planned it. All right, friends. Now we're going to read one more story. This is David McKee, Elmer and Butterfly. Maybe you know Elmer, the patchwork elephant. It's very colorful. I do enjoy bright colors, as you may have noticed. Elmer and Elmer the patchwork elephant was out walking when a shout came up, came from up a tree. Hello, Elmer. Is that you, monkey? Elmer called back. No, it's me, laughed cousin Wilbur from behind a bush. Hello, Wilbur, chuckled Elmer. You are clever with your voice tricks. I'm going for a walk. See you later. Not long after that, another voice called, help, help. Elmer smiled and said, all right, Wilbur, come on out. The voice called again, help, I'm trapped. Elmer laughed, if that's you, Wilbur. But before he could finish, he saw that it was Butterfly, trapped in a hole behind a fallen branch. You can just barely see her there. Poor butterfly, said Elmer, and he lifted the branch to release her. Thank you, Elmer. The branch fell while I was in the hole, said butterfly. Perhaps one day I'll be able to repay you. Don't even think about it, butterfly, said Elmer. If you do need me, just call my name, said butterfly. Wherever I am, I shall hear you. Butterfly saving an elephant. That's a good one, chuckled Elmer as he continued his walk. At that point, a narrow path led off the main one. I've never been here before, he said. This looks interesting. The path suddenly led out of the trees and along a cliff high above the valley below. This is dangerous, said Elmer and the path goes to a cave. I'll go back. Oh dear, going backwards here isn't easy. I'll go to the cave, turn around and walk back normally. Elmer was nearly there when the path started falling. He rushed into the cave and peeked out. Part of the path had gone. Oh no, there's no way back, he said. Help, he shouted. There was no answer. He's looking down. That's the river. Oh my goodness. He's so high up. Help, Elmer called again. Still no answer. They're all too far away, he thought. I'll try Butterfly. Butterfly, help, he called. He was about to try again when Butterfly arrived. Oh, butterfly, thank goodness, said Elmer. Now it's me who is trapped in a hole. Don't worry, Elmer, said butterfly. I'll get help. Wilbur was amusing a group of elephants when butterfly arrived. She quickly told them about Elmer. In no time, the elephants were rushing to the rescue. 
At the cliff top, the elephant saw how dangerous it was and most kept away from the edge. Wilbur disappeared back among the trees. One or two elephants carefully peeked over the edge to try and spot Elmer. I see his trunk, said one. Look, they're holding each other so they don't fall. That's some good teamwork right there. Wilbur soon came hurrying back, pulling a very long, very strong vine. He threw one end over the edge of the cliff and called down, grab it, Elmer. Tie the vine around you and hold on tightly, said Butterfly. Don't worry, it will be all right. Elmer tied the vine firmly and called out, I am ready. The elephants grabbed the vine and pulled. Elmer swung out from the cave and then upwards. Oh my goodness. Once he was safe, Elmer thanked them all, especially Butterfly. Fancy a butterfly saving an elephant, he said. Then a shout came from the cave. Don't forget me. The elephant stared. Who else is there, said one. Just Wilbur's voice, laughed Elmer. Let's tickle him. But Wilbur was already running home. I like that story a lot. Do you know why I like it? I like Elmer because he's so brightly colored, but I also like it because you know what? He thought because he's big and butterfly's small, the butterfly could never help him. He was wrong. Butterfly was the only one who could rescue him, right? So you should never discount someone because they're small, right? All of you out there are small, but you help all the time. So don't let anyone say you're not big enough to be helpful. All right, my friends, you make sure you take care of yourselves. All right, get enough sleep, do all the good things. All right, don't forget to be helpful. And if you want those craft kits, remember to let us know. You can pick them up at the curb, okay? We'll make arrangements for you to get them. All right, my friends, take care of yourselves, and we will see you again very soon. All right? Bye-bye for now. Flutter away. <laughs> Bye, friends.